Alemco, the MEP arm of ALEC, focuses mostly on projects that only a few MEP contractors would dare to take on. Although Alemco is a separate entity, 70 to 80 percent of its work is in support of the main contractor, ALEC. Alemco's mantra has been to work with a few selective clients and to focus primarily on those projects that require technical proficiency. The other priority for the firm is retaining good talent. Here is what Nathan Hans, General Manager at Alemco, has to say. We look for, for selected clients. I mean, clients that want a project driven on a time scale and not always necessary on a budget. So it can be maybe, maybe a little bit more techn technical, you know, the proficiency involved in, in, in delivering the project on time is, is key. So that, that is not the general market. Um, where you get a client that turns around, they know they've got a set time period. They want a technically proficient company to come in and support them and to get there, then, then we would be more inclined. If your clients have an understanding of, of what you're bringing to their projects, and you have an understanding of what the projects want from a delivery process, it's not necessary that the budget is, is the, the key driver. Price, and price and the tendering in the market at the moment is, is, is very difficult to, to achieve. I think cash flow and, 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 and liquidity remain a problem. Um, and our biggest issue is, is, is overruns. Um, overruns and instructions, we incur the costs, but we don't necessarily get the fair treatment and the recovery of the costs in the market. So you're already under tight conditions from a tendering process. Um, a project to overrun, if you're not uh, commercially resolved, it, it creates uh, additional cash flow issues in, in, in the market. The biggest issue that we face as an MEP company is retaining proficient skills. So in order to, to carry out challenging contracts, large-scale contracts in the MEP field, you need to have a very good skill, skill level. And um, we have to maintain that, that skill level within the industry because if, it, if we lose it, we we'll lose it in the industry. There's talent available uh, and finding it, uh, I think we try and retain the talent as much as possible. We have quite a good uh, a length, of, length of employment within the business. So uh, that's our focus, keeping, keeping people and training people. So retaining and training people, that's one of the key methods every organization should follow. Thank you for watching MEP Engineered on Construction Week. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like the video, leave a comment, and share with all your colleagues. We publish new episodes every Thursday. Goodbye.